But guys, David's yeah. finally leaving home. You guys have been questioning why is he not leaving? Like, <laughs> like now he is. He's graduating. Actually, two things. Yeah. Devi is graduating on the 1st of December. Exactly. Devi is leaving the country soon after that. Not even country. Africa. Oh, he's looking. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't wait to see the episodes and what you know. For sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's that's but breaking I'm, news, guys. I'm excited, you know, mm -hmm. coming from here in the village. Uh -huh. ah, it's a blessing for sure. It's mm -hmm. a blessing. And, uh, like, I don't Hello, hello. What's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel once again Dash Lifestyle YouTube channel So guys, uh, if you're new to the channel, please remember to subscribe Like, share and also comment. I'm coming live from Africa Kenya. Yes guys uh, This area here it is called uh, Amuin Eldoret uh, The fifth uh, city in Kenya Yes guys, so I'm coming live from Eldoret the fifth city here in Kenya and also the home of champions yes guys where the greatest marathons they are coming from yes guys welcome once again to my returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back and watching my video thank you so much yes guys you can see it is a beautiful morning today we have a uh, I think uh, it is like a breeze yes guys it is cold let me show you around so that uh, see we have a school there you can see how the place looks like yes guys remember I'm in Uruma estate where you see there is a smoke there it is now the biggest dumping site here in Eldoret and uh, we have you see so many house yes guys today I'm not in the village I'm in this estate here called uh, Uruma yes so guys uh, today we have some more news and more update from the village yes guys I uh, will start with the good news guys so the good news it is uh, you know David Junior yes guys David Junior he is uh, graduating on December I don't know guys if you can hear me very well because uh, we have uh, some breeze yes guys so let me find a place here so that uh, we can tell you more guys so guys, I was telling you that uh, David Junior is graduating uh, in December. So guys, uh, yes, we have a graduation in December for David Junior. And he promised uh, after finishing the graduation, now he will start uh, traveling the world. Yes, guys, like uh, his uh, big brother, that is uh, Marwa. Yes, guys, so David Junior, uh, he, he was not uh, traveling, he was staying in the village, but... Uh, the thing that uh, make, made him to stay in the village is because of study and uh, yes guys he is graduating on uh, December and uh, after that he will start to tour around yes guys you know they were talking with uh, Min Hawi that it is uh, I am Marwa PA and uh, yes guys it is true and uh, he said that after finishing his graduation he will started to travel the world yes guys and also another thing that uh, it has happened in the village it is uh, you know the area MP for Nyabohanzi village Nyabohanzi village MP he invited Ayamorwa uh, to go and see uh, to meet the president but uh, it didn't go well as a plan but uh, it was in a mess and uh, Yes, guys, but I think uh, Ayamarwa PA, you should uh, somehow be serious and make, uh, and make uh, things go straight. You know, like uh, meeting the president, uh, that it is uh, sensitive and it is, high, uh, it is a high thing. You know, the president is the one who is in charge of the country, but uh, you see when they are Marwa together with the Paris when they went uh, to see president uh, even they were not uh, recognized because of uh, poor planning and uh, Paris uh, she should uh, at least be he should uh, be serious with uh, with uh, her work yes guys you know being a PA you must uh, know you must uh, tell I am Marwa yes it is true we will go and see the president 
But if you, you are going just you telling I am let's go and see the president and uh, you have not uh, uh, make things uh, straight, it will look bad as uh, you have seen in the last video whereby I am they were rain and uh, they went to the school to get some shade because the rain it was so raining heavily and uh, yes guys it went bad and even Marwa the, he didn't uh, meet the president yes guys so I can't blame Marwa that it is the work uh, of Paris yes guys you know Paris the PA and the PA you you need to be sure if I want to book a Marwa I will go through uh, Paris so that uh, I can get to a Marwa I cannot go direct to Ayamarwa because uh, I will not uh, that one I will not uh, respect uh, Paris work. So and Paris you need to be more serious because uh, when it comes to meet the these are uh, high people. Let me let me just say like that because of uh, I think you people you understand when it is come to meet these high people you need to be sure and you need to set a uh, time and you need to make sure that uh, yes guys you will meet this person this time uh, this place yes guys not uh, to go and uh, you know to batisha to batisha it means uh, to get good to get luck yes guys you know I am Mara together with Paris they went to see if they can meet the president but uh, if they even I am Mara regretted and uh, he was telling in his video that uh, he wish he could not go because it didn't work go well. Yes, guys. So let me not talk about that because it is now the first. And uh, if you want to check that full video, you can go to Marwa YouTube channel and you will see that video. But uh, this message goes to Paris. You should be at least uh, focus with your work. You know, PA it is. Uh, it is somehow hard thing you know you are the you are carrying right now you are carrying a Marwa brand yes guys so don't sell a Marwa brand uh, anywhere yes guys no 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 a Marwa it is a big brand so you should be very careful when it comes to something like that and you know don't mix uh, uh, politics together with uh, yes guys you know let me just not, don't go into uh, deep yes guys so another thing what it is happening in the village right now we have a free Wi-Fi uh, that it is a courtesy of Steve J1 and you know Steve J1 right now uh, he is back in Nairobi he went to see his wife together with the children and right now when I'm talking you know Steve uh, Steve J1 that it is the guy uh, who installed Wi-Fi to Villa Medellin that it is a Yamarwa Villa yes guys so Steve he came to the village with uh, at least uh, it, it was a 300 subscriber yes guys and right now he is 5000 subscriber yes guys you can see you guys are uh, you are so uh, I don't know what I can say but uh, you guys were so supportive Steve he came to the village with uh, 3000 subscriber right now he is a uh, 5,000 subscribing heading to 10,000 subscriber and it is all because of you and uh, you know Steve uh, He has done a uh, great work in the village. You know right now. We have so many Youtubers in the village and what they need right now. It is a camera and there is someone who promised to give uh, at least eight camera a GoPro camera to to the to the small youtubers who are in the village so if you want a gopro camera and you are watching me and you are in Yabohansi village you should go and see uh, paris that it is a yamarwa pa so yes guys we should uh, give a good explanation to why you need a gopro camera because there is some um, someone who lives in usa he promised to give a uh, at least eight and uh, he promised even to give more uh, gopro cameras to the to the youtube to the youtuber who are in the village yes guys so if you need a gopro camera go and check uh, paris and also uh, i was talking about uh, steve yes guys steve right now he's gone he's in nairobi and uh, he is even starting to build uh, his uh, dream house you can see you guys and it's all because of you right now steve he has uh, started building uh, right now he's in a foundation level and he has started to build uh, his dream villa i hope you guys you should go to steve j1 and you will see and uh, you will 
just follow him and you will see everything that uh, that guy he does and uh, thanks to him right now the wi-fi it is working in the village very very well and you you people you can see every each and every day there is a video that it is coming from nyabohansi village soon i tell you soon i will be in nyabohansi village yes guys soon 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 maybe next week i will be in nyabohansi village so guys uh, you stay tuned subscribe to this channel if you haven't and also another thing that it is happening in the village uh, there is a uh, there is a uh, everyone who is a uh, celeb they are celebrating a birthday in the village yes guys <laughs> even the even the house it is not yet finished but you can see people are bringing the cake and are celebrating their birthday their birthdays in the villa in the ayamaru house and also guys another thing it is about uh, Mayugno you remember in the last video uh, Mayugno uh, I think he was joking but uh, he said that uh, he needs to have at least another wife <laughs> you know you guys uh, that guy Mayugno for Kona Kona Ring uh, yes guys you know Rindima, you know my Yugno right now is building a Rindima Villa. Yes guys, that it is uh, his house and you know Ayamaro house it is called uh, Villa Medellin and uh, my Yugno it is called Rindima Villa. So my Yugno, he, I think he was joking. He said in one of Ayamaro video that uh, uh, he wants to add another wife. Uh, I don't know if it is true or he was joking. No, my Yugno is not someone who it is usually straight so yes guys so another thing uh, right now i am marwa he has a uh, plead for help uh, he needs help so that uh, he can buy solar system and uh, yes guys i think he need help to install solar system because these people of electricity they are disturbing him i don't know if they think that amaro he has money each and every time when they cut electricity amaro go there and pay some a little money so that they can bring back electricity but amaro he's uh let me say he's uh he don't want like that so what uh, Marwa he was saying that uh, he needs to buy at least uh, he needs like uh, 1 million that it is Kenya shillings I hope it is like uh, 100,000 USD so if you want to contribute to Ayamarwa you can go and check uh, his uh, YouTube channel this uh, go fund me for for that so that I can purchase a solar system and install in the house so when electricity it is home so we can use the solar the solar panel to lighten the house and also for the wi-fi you know you guys are uh, you are coming uh, all over the country so i don't i am aware he don't want when you guys you come and you find maybe there's no electricity and you know that it is the we are you know the party you can imagine the party without electricity without energy what uh, what it is like what it is the party will so bo it will become boring so to avoid that i am aware he he has uh, he's, uh, he has opened a GoFundMe so that uh, you guys you can contribute a small money that uh, you have so that uh, he can be able to buy a solar system and to install in his house so that uh, when you are coming to the party you will find everything it is okay. Yes guys. So another thing you remember guys are Burundi and Traveller. Yes guys. This, uh, this guy from Burundi is not uh, original in Kenya. He was born in Burundi. And right now he even bought a land in the village. Yes, guys. So that uh, the uh, Burundian traveler is the, is the they were first together with Cloud Joseph. They were first a YouTuber that I am Marwa help. And uh, right now they are doing well on YouTube. And a uh, Burundian traveler recently he was in in uh, India. Yes, guys. He was in India, but uh, he came to Kenya to see a Marwa and also he surprised uh, Marwa. Uh, you know, he paid uh, all workers. He became a boss in one day in Ayamaro Villa. <laughs> yes, guys, let me use like that so that uh, you can understand. So, Burundian traveler, he decided... I don't know, guys, if you can hear me because we have a lot of wind. There's a uh, wind. You can see the trees. You can see the trees. They are shaking. We have a lot of wind today, guys. Uh, I don't know why... But it, that it is nature. So I was telling you that a uh, Burundian traveler, when he came to the to Ayamaro Villa and he became a boss 
uh, one day by paying all the workers and uh, yes guys he paid all the workers uh, who are working in Ayamaro Villa for at least one day you can imagine how much he used and you know Ayamaro he has like uh, 50 people doing job in his uh, villa yes guys so uh, that it is now the news that it is coming from the village and there are some of the visitors who, who the USA visitors uh, they they went back but uh, I think they will be back in during the party yes guys you know during the party we expect uh, more youtubers and even Ayamaro he was jokingly like uh, in that party it will be a youtuber party and also to the fans who are watching uh, Nyabohansi um, YouTube your videos yes guys so he was saying that uh, in his compound during the party everybody will doing like this he will he will he will shooting a video yes guys so if you want to watch that full video you can go and check uh, Ayamarwa and uh, I know you guys uh, there are some guys they I recently noticed that uh, you guys are uh, you are watching me without uh, subscribing there's uh, so many of you guys are uh, watching me and you have not yet subscribed please help me by subscribing to this YouTube channel remember I'm heading to 5,000 subscriber and uh, please if you are coming me if you are seeing me for the first time please subscribe to this this youtube channel my name is dash lifestyle i'm doing uh, uh these videos uh showing you around here and also i'll be going to nyabohansi very soon it is uh, i was there but uh, right now i'm in this place here it is called uh, eldoret the fifth city in uh, kenya so i'll be leaving here soon and i will go back to the village and uh, yes guys will see me doing some more video uh, from the village that is uh, Nyabuansi village yes guys so another thing that what it is happening in the village Marwa right now is uh, moving into his villa officially yes you are, there is a video whereby Marwa he was purchasing some basin some uh, house utensils and even uh, he was uh, recommending that uh, Maybe you should uh, uh, the uh, Congress mom together with the Marwa they will uh, Marwa he was suggesting that uh, Congress mom she should uh, help him to purchase some household utensil but I think uh, yes guys that it is good you know uh, Marwa right now is uh, he trusts uh, Congress mom because he uh, Congress mom she's a uh, Marwa biological uh, mother yes guys so. Uh, Marwa is now purchasing some uh, household utensils. He has started with the basin together with the uh, plastic chairs, and uh, that's how we start life here in Africa. Yes, guys, uh, that it is a typical how we start. Even me, when I was starting life, I was, I I had these uh, plastic chairs. You know, these plastic chairs together with this basin and a uh, uh, one plastic table. Yes, guys. <clears throat> and a mattress i didn't have even a bed to sleep uh, on i was using a mattress i put the mattress on the floor and then i sleep on top of the mattress so that's how here we start life in kenya but ayamaro is starting life uh, as a millionaire yes guys you know ayamaro is the is a millionaire and uh, yes guys he's trying to show you how we start uh, the how we start life here in africa and also if you have money uh how to become humble you know here in kenya when someone has money uh there is this uh, thing they usually said uh I just uh, beat me then i will pay you. uh i will beat you and pay you that uh, when you hear something like that you know that guy he has money so that is telling you that uh minda kupiga then takulipa it means that uh, i will beat you and i will pay you yes guys so you know that guy he has uh, money so uh, that it is now the proverb that uh, those people who have money mostly most of them they use that language but you, you see Ayamaro is very humble he has uh, money he's a millionaire and even you can't know or you can't uh, you, when you see Ayamaro walking around you can uh, if you meet him you you will just uh, pass him you, even you can't imagine Ayamaro is a millionaire or you can't uh, know if i am he has a multi-million villa 
in the village yes guys and uh, recently marwa he said about uh, he is thinking about converting uh, his house to uh, airbnb or a touristic area for the youtubers i don't know if he will do like he will do that but i uh, was suggesting uh, to after finishing the party the next thing he will do is to put uh, his house like uh, to become like a uh, airbnb yes guys i think it will be, be it will be a good idea yes guys and it will generate income to tomorrow yes guys and also <clears throat> and also another thing that uh, it is happening in the village Dimwango is uh you Dimwango she is in Jamaica and right now he is she is heading to uh 400,000 subscriber yes guys uh I hope uh, is she is enjoying uh, some good time in Jamaica and also you guys if you have not uh, subscribed to Dimwango that it is Ayamarwa she is Ayamarwa uh Younger sister, yes, guys. If you have not uh, yet subscribed to Dimwango, please go and uh, subscribe to Dimwango YouTube channel. Uh, she's doing amazing video right now. She's in Jamaica, and uh, yes, guys. Uh, when Ayamarwa is clicking uh, 500,000 subscriber, even Dimwango she will be clocking 400,000 subscriber. And don't forget about me. I'm heading to 5,000 subscriber. Yes, guys. So please support us. We are all YouTuber, and we are finding a space. Um, I'm finding a space in this uh, YouTube space, internet or YouTube. Uh, sp let me just say YouTube space. Yes, guys. So I think uh, that it is all that it is happening in the village. Uh, the, this video it was about uh, Paris uh, to tell Paris to be serious with uh, his uh, PA with a uh, PA you know Paris is a uh, Marwa PA so and uh, she should be making things uh, go straight and thanks to Minhawi right now we have a uh, tank yes guys we have a uh, tank to collect water uh, to to help in construction area but uh, right now you know i am marwa uh, land is near but is near with the river so if you if i marwa wants water uh he he just go to the river and uh he fetch water to come and uh build uh his uh villa yes guys so i think that it is all for today uh, i've not uh, left anything behind and uh, just to uh, i was just uh, giving you updates at uh, what it is happening in uh, nyabohans village but i i let me let me talk a little bit about nasto you can see right now nasto is building an airbnb and uh, he is almost he, is, he, he has reached to the lintel level so i think uh, he was correct that uh, he will finish uh, building uh, his airbnb uh, in time you know nasto he said that uh, he's targeting you guys uh, uh who are coming from the party maybe for those who they were they didn't they will lack some place to sleep you can just go and book uh nasto uh villa yes guys not villa airbnb you know nasto is building a airbnb and it is near uh marwa villa yes guys and uh, if you you will lack some the place to sleep you can just uh, see nasto and uh, book his airbnb yes guys so and you know nasto uh he has uh, he's doing uh, some great work on youtube yes guys and all it is because of you guys who are showing support in yabohan's village and also don't forget to support our boy ayamarwa uh, he has a go fund me go and support anything you have uh, he's, He wants to buy a solar panel system to install in his villa so guys uh, when you are coming to the party you cannot lack uh, Energy or you cannot lack uh, electricity. So let me just say like that so that uh, you can You can get it correctly. So guys are uh, yes that it, I think that it is all that it, what it is happening in the villa. Uh, some go, I will be telling you some more news and more update uh, tomorrow. But uh, for
for those who have joined, my name is Dash Lifestyle and uh, I'm in this place here, it is called uh, Eldoret and this Eldoret it is the fifth uh, city. Yes, it is the fifth city here in Kenya after we have Nairobi, the largest city, then Mombasa, then Kisumu, then Nakuru, and then the last one here it is Eldoret. And this Eldoret it is the home of champion. Recently this uh, this who this this uh uh Kiptum, you know Kiptum, he broke the record. Uh, it was American I think it was American marathon. He broke uh Elid Kipchoge record. Uh, he finished uh, number one and uh, he broke Eliud Kipchoge. You guys, I hope you know Eliud Kipchoge, the greatest marathon. We call him the GOAT. Yes, guys. So he's uh, known for uh, running uh, the, long, the longest uh, marathon. So we have someone who, who he has come to overturn uh, or to break uh, his record. He's called Kiptum. And right now Kiptum is becoming famous because he has broke uh, Eliud Kipchoge record. And you know all of them, they are coming from this area here in Eldoret. Yes guys, soon I'll be doing a video where I will be just going and show you how this uh, greatest marathon or this marathon, how they practice, where they live, where they stay. Yes guys, soon I will be going around and uh, showing you uh, all the details about those uh, marathon how they run yes guys how they eat yes guys so that it is uh, something that i'm planning to do what i'm waiting it is my camera to arrive so when my gopro camera it will arrive here then i will be free i will go first to the village then i will be touring around like just a uh, how he does yes guys so that it is all for today what i can say it is uh, bye bye guys